Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. We're taking a look at the Android app player on the Playbook Beta 2.0 OS. We got Chris Smith from Rim here to run us through some of the example apps here. How's it going, Chris? It's going good. So uh, what, what are we looking at here? So this is the uh, the Android player. You can see it's uh, it's it's right now kind of in the background on the, uh, the the Playbook home screen. I've got a number of apps down here in my my app bar. They they look and appear just like any other app on the on the playbook. So, uh, what I can do is go ahead and launch. Well, I'll launch the uh, IMDb app. And as I'm doing that, I'm just wondering if I have Wi-Fi connectivity. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so if I don't, then that'll be a short demo. I can, <laughs> let's try. Uh, I don't think I do. I'll turn it on later. So uh, this one here is uh, is a cool one. We showed this one in the keynote. It's a it's a pool break app, and. Um, it's actually, what's interesting about this is it's using uh, hardware accelerated OpenGL ES to, uh, to do the rendering. So you can see it's very, very rich in terms of the graphic capability. And uh, I can kind of pull back and shoot. You can see the physics of the balls colliding. And, um, it's a pretty rich, visually rich game. Um, I can go down here. You can see at the bottom I've got this, uh, this toolbar. Um, what I'd like to save this current game state. Let's see. Nah. Uh, I've got this, this uh, icon bar at the bottom where I'm seeing the applications that are currently you know, running in the, uh, the Android player. I also have the back button to be able to, to jump back right. between apps. So if I, uh, let's try the good old paper toss game. So it, it, it was mentioned during the general keynote that, uh, that you, you, you guys didn't necessarily even talk to, to the developers about testing these in the first place. It was a pretty simple process getting, get, getting them to, to run on the playbook, right? Uh, well, what we've we've done certainly we've we've talked to uh, to the developers, the owners of the content, to make sure we could we could pull it across. But uh, I think the point that was being made is that these these applications were able to be ported uh, without having access to any of the source code. So this is strictly taking the APK binary file and uh, and repackaging it as a as a bar file so that it looks and feels like a, a native secure application of the playbook and uh, and brought it up on the platform running in the player so we didn't have to make any modifications to the code or in fact even recompile the code uh, to be able to deliver this so we've got you know pretty uh, standard little yeah, it's a here. classic recognizable app for right, sure right so uh so this is another one what else do we have uh this is uh like a soccer Soccer scores app, so just kind of a typical content app. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, these are Android 2.3.3 apps right now, right? That's correct. Okay, so and what was the progression going to be like for, uh, say, an ice cream sandwich? Uh, when, when the source code comes out, is, 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 is this going to be uh, upgradable to, to those, those kinds of apps? Or? Yeah, I mean, we intend to track the, uh, the open source, so as, uh, as it becomes available, we'll, uh, we'll look at uh, providing updates. But what we've done here is just opened up a huge catalog of content uh, I mean, there's the, I think the, the vast majority of applications in the, in marketplace today are um, are you know, built on uh, on gingerbread, and this is what we're, uh, we're, we're uh, providing right now. Cool. And uh, th th this kind of functionality is, is going to be going forward with BBX on smartphones, right? Uh, that's right. Yep. So we'll provide support for the uh, the Android player on uh, on the BBX as well. So this is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm going to have to pick it up to, yeah, that's fine. to play it, but if you can yep. go here, you've got, um, this is like the classic uh, dogfight where you're, you're controlling the, uh, the aircraft with the accelerometer, and, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's pretty visually rich. So this is where it's pretty responsive. Where do I get? There we go. So, oh, it ah. didn't turn out so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, you get the you get the feeling. I mean, we're we're seeing uh, a lot of these applications, uh, you know, come across and work uh, exceptionally well on the uh, on the tablet form factor, even if in many cases they've been designed for the uh, smartphone. And uh, as I said, with uh, a huge hit rate on the number of apps that come across without any changes to code whatsoever. Yeah, you have Pulse Newsreader on here too, right? I do. What I'm going to have to do um, for that is make sure that I have Wi-Fi connectivity, and I do. And let me just. Uh, See if I can fire that up. So I've got oh. it right here. And they, they, they all show up in in the native uh, BlackBerry OS uh, just as any other app, right? Uh, that's correct. So they show up on the um, on the kind of main ribbon here, just like any other application. And they'll show they'll show up in, in, in App World all the same, right? 
Uh, they will look and feel like a, like an application, like any other application for the platform in Apple. Yeah. Cool. So um, it, we, we've seen the 3D graphics are working, the accelerometer is working. Um, obviously, it's kind of expected that, that that some core Android stuff like Google Maps integration won't, won't be included. Are there are there any other particular caveats? Like, will will Bluetooth work on here, or uh, are, are there any other gaps that uh, so, some application developers will have to work around? Uh, th there are. Um, there's a, there's actually a list of uh, of APIs up on our, our uh, Android developer um, website, and uh, it. Kind of provides you all the details. I'm not sure it's happening with Pulse, here, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, it's working right now. That's fine. Um, cool. So, uh, where, where do developers need to go if they want to start porting their uh, their Android apps to the BlackBerry Playbook? Uh, so that's a good point. To put me on the spot. It's, uh, <laughs> you go to go to developer.blackberry.com, um, and I think it's under uh, under uh, Android Runtime or, or something similar. But if you if you jump to that uh, to that main uh, jump off page, you have a little uh, we have a little graphic that helps guide you through what the right application environment is for you, and there's a there's a link there to get you to the uh, to the Android environment. Cool. Thanks a lot, Chris. No problem.